What's up, Divine Moon Goddess fam, bam? It's your Divine Moon Goddess coming at you with a little bit of motherfucking tarot, okay? All right, Saggies in the building. Saggies are in it to win it. Up, y'all are number one. So you guys got the first video. I'm doing tax season, baby. We're looking at it. This person's coming back around. Is it for your tax money or is it love? So we're going to take a look at that today. So Saggies, let's see. Are they here for your tax money or are they here for love? Mm. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. How's everybody doing? Just to let you guys know while I'm shuffling your cards, um, I do not message anybody for readings, okay? You will always reach out to me. Information's in the description box on how to book me. I have a website. I do not work out a messenger um, unless you've already spoken to me, okay? If you have not had a conversation with me um, about it already or something like that, I, it is not me reaching out to you. There's a lot of scammers uh, creating profiles, stealing pictures and all kinds of stuff. So, um, you know, be careful with that. Okay, Sag? All right. So just so you guys know, if you want to learn how to read tarot, mediumship, get at me. I do have a class. My next classes are coming up in April, April 6th to be exact on the mediumship. Uh, tarot will be April 29th. I have a lot of shit going on. Information in, I was going to say information in the bio. <laughs> what motherfucking uh, channel am I on? All right. So Sag, let's see. Is this person here for your coins? Or is this person here for the love? <laughs> All right, Sag, you got a king of swords here in the reverse and the strength card in the reverse, okay? Well, I'm not seeing no coins, so I don't feel like this person is here for coins. I do feel like, though, you could have two people in your life. Some of you, Sag, are dealing with two people, okay? We're just going to put it out there. Um, some of you, this is your person. Some of you guys are dealing with someone who's just very standoffish, very cold, very calculating. This person isn't being honest about their emotions. This person um, could be... Um, jumping into their desires more than you know coming at you i do see aquarius leo aries very strongly scorpio sag uh libra taurus capricorn you got all fucking signs here actually some of you like i said you're dealing with your counterpart you guys are beast both of you okay both of you guys are beast both of you guys are stubborn as fuck too two counterparts sag i feel like you've met your match here sag okay um, I do feel like uh, your person could be very stubborn as fuck, though, um, and this person doesn't know how to communicate, most likely. I do feel like you need to stand your ground with this person, but I'm not seeing that they're after your coins. I do feel like you guys are very sexually attracted to each other. There's a huge sexual attraction, but I also feel like now, Sag, either you're standing in your power or this person is, but there's a need to um, be very confident with your person. Um, your person might be trying to gain confidence also to be with you. I do feel like there's a potential for you and your person to be boss mode together. I do feel like this is power couple energy. But those of you who have somebody lingering, I feel like you need to let that person go. There is some type of like lingering energy, especially if you got an Aquarius kind of lingering. Let that energy go so you and your person can step into Mr. and Mrs. or Mrs. and Mrs. However the fuck you fly. Um, boss mode energy because I feel two people that are just beast and once you two really come together like that is it Sag so beautiful energy that I'm seeing for you guys I'm gonna do a little clarification just to kind of make sure um, <laughs> that I'm not getting no craziness but from what I'm seeing is I'm not seeing uh, tax money here <laughs> Yeah, see, um, you guys got someone who wants to get through the past, wants to celebrate with you, wants to get through, you know, there's a lot of past situation. This person could have been someone who liked to hang out with their friends, could have liked to been solo, could have liked, you've been a player vibe. I mean, hey, it is what it is. Um, see, a uh, strength card is there in the bottom of the deck as well. I feel like this person is trying to do better in their life and they're actually trying to come correct. This person does want to celebrate with you. For me, Three of Cups is not about, um, is not just about fucking, you know, playing games. It's also about celebrations. Um, it's only third party shit in the reverse for me as a reader, okay? Um, so I feel like this person is actually trying to come to you 
correct. Um, this person could have been celebrating their birthday not too long ago. Aquarius season wasn't that long ago. Um, so this person could, you know, have been celebrating. Um, see, I feel like this person and you are trying to get through the past. You're trying to heal the past, both of you guys. This is coming out on the emperor and the empress. So I do feel like there was a lot of waiting. There was a lot of neither one of you guys. I feel like this is someone from the past. Neither one of you guys could truly move past each other. Neither one of you could truly like move on from your energies. And you guys were very hurt, probably from past people, but you guys probably hurt each other as well. So I do feel like um, there's a little bit of moving forward. 33 on the dot. Um, so 43 coming out as well. Um, that might mean something to you. You guys could have met at the age of 33 or you could have, um, that could just be your number popping out. I do feel like you guys have chosen to get up. See, this is not about tax money, Sag. This is about a fucking relationship. You guys have chosen to get past this. You've chosen to get past the worry, the hurt, and the pain. Um, I feel like there's two people who are just choosing each other. So if you felt like this person was just with you for the tax money, this person isn't. Not the Sages that I'm tapping into. So just, um, you know, stand in that power and know, trust. I think some of you guys are just overthinking it and you guys are just like not used to you're used to this person either cutting out on you or um you know not giving you that time and attention um i feel like see i feel like you two are already in a fucking relationship see nine of pentacles in the reverse um i do feel like also there is a bit of codependency Make sure that you two can stand on your own feet and not be codependent on each other to make each other feel better about themselves. Make sure that it's two that you guys have already gotten to that place. But honestly, I feel like the sages that I'm that I'm tapping into, you guys are already in a fucking relationship. I don't I don't even feel like even if you're not and you just got back together, I feel like you are together. <laughs> like there's no there's no looking at it as single. This is not a single read for the ones that I'm getting. I feel like even if you guys are just getting back together you guys are already together and you you guys will know um who this resonates with and whose story it is because it's definitely people who have a very strong bond and you guys have been together you guys are not um and it's crazy because at the bottom of the deck i also had the queen of swords in the reverse so i feel like you guys went through a period of not talking to each other and not getting along not seeing eye to eye and you both are very strong-minded this is two very strong-minded individuals trying to come together that's not the easiest thing said okay yeah i feel like um whatever confidence and see this temperance keeps wanting to come out you guys got some heavy hitter cards i feel like before um, one of you guys was, was a little bit, um, you had like self-esteem issues where you felt like this person was very egotistical, like to kind of put their energy out there or get a lot of attention. Um, I feel like you got to stand confident in your energy, Sag, and make sure to understand that this person has eyes for you and not others. I feel like this is more of a confidence thing that has to be changed because I feel like whoever this was that was needing that boost, needing others to make them feel better, needing others to kind of um, tell them that they, they're doing something right in their life. Whoever that was in the dynamic, I feel like that's what we're kind of getting over now. We're finally getting to that point of confidence. We still need to heal some things though, Sag. But for me looking at this, I'm going to tell you that I don't see this person is here for your tax money. So hopefully, Sag, this helps you out and gives you a little bit of, um, you know, vibes and you can move forward being a little bit more confident in, in uh, securing in your energy, Sag. So I'm going to send you my love and my light, my light, my love to all my Sagis out there. Information is, is in the description box of everything that I fucking do. Come check me out on on Facebook. Facebook, uh, we be doing all kind of crazy shit and lives over there. So definitely come and check me out um, on there. I will be back later tonight if you're watching this on a Wednesday. Um, I will be on here for uh, wine and tarot, which I don't have wine, but I'm going to do tea. <laughs> tea and tarot, but it's tea Thursdays. Whatever, whatever. I'll be back later for a live. Bye.